Hey, it's Joe Glass from the Automator. And the other day I was on a call with Dimitri walking through some stuff. And he showed a little tip about how you can find content in Explorer. Let me go ahead and show it real quick. So let's say you're in Explorer. And the thing is, you're not search let's say you're not searching for a file. You're searching for words inside a file. You need to find all the instances or a specific one. You can't find it. What he was demonstrating is here you can type content. And then the word, which we'll say is here, it's just the. It's going to look across in that folder, wherever this is. And here, if I click on it, we'll see, hey, this had the in it, right? So this is the preview pane. Now, unfortunately, with Explorer and some other tools, they don't peek into other files that aren't, even though they're plain text, they have to be, have like a TXT or maybe even a CSV. I didn't test it, but it's very limiting. So I want to show you Grepwin, which is the tool I've been using for a really long time. So here's, here's Grepwin. I'll bring it over. It's a free tool. Go ahead and close that. There we go. It's a free tool. I forget who it's by, but it's it's an amazing tool. I love it for when I'm working with something and I can't either I can't remember the file name it was in or where it was stored, uh, and I need to search across. And so what what I can do is I can say, okay, this top one. This, by the way, anything with the backslash this is like a history. So this is my very some of my hard drives um, or a specific folder. So let's just say which I also have just to promote them. So there's a hot string I have, which will jump to folders I use a lot, right? Um, in here, uh, this is what you're searching for. You can search as text or regex or the whole word, you know, looking for the whole word of it. Um, and what's really cool also is you can do search and replace, right? So it's very cool. And if you do the search replace, you can create backup files of what it is just to test stuff and then be able to restore it after. I rarely use that functionality, but it is really cool that you have this built into it, right? So if you want to do major changes, it's it's a great one for that. Also, like in Studio, because I use AutoHockey Studio, which you can do, you can find across files, by the way, in Auto in HK Studio, it'll search across. You can say, look at all my files, and I'm not quite clear if it just looks at those that are loaded in studio or if it looks across like your project directory and everything beneath it or maybe that and your library i don't know i didn't test it because because i use grepwin right but hk studio by default if you have the backups on creates a folder with all your backups and what i don't want is every instance of everything coming up every time right so let's say i wanted to look for um let's just do excel for i, I know that's a lot of stuff here I'm telling it, hey, look in AutoHockey or Python files. So the pipe is the or. Um, I don't really care about the Python in this case, so I'm going to remove that. And also, this is some really great stuff, is I can say, hey, let's by default drop out bigger files. So files larger than the 2K, which as far as a program file, that's a big file, right? Um, I can also say, you know, look in subfolders. I can also exclude, like, let's say I know I worked on it in the last week or two um, or, or five years ago, right? I can control where I'm searching the files, not where I'm searching, but the files that are returned. It's really helpful, right? So I'm going to hit search. The thing I love about it, now, it does take a little bit of time, and I know people that like like the tool everything. It's uh, very fast. However, I don't think everything peeks inside files. It just looks for file names, right? Which is great if that's what you know. I rarely know the name of my file, right? I, I work on the folder, um, but what, what I I want to also show you here was here I have a list of the the name of the file the path to the file but what I can do after it's done searching is I can hit contents and here you'll notice in the same Excel file over and over and over I have multiple lines now let's drag this over so we see a little better I can see the actual content right so this is really helpful and what line it's on so really super helpful to see where it is and I don't even have to go open the file I can first look at this and go hey that's that's what I was looking for and then you can uh, you can right click and say you know open containing folder I think you can okay I can hit edit um, it's it's kind of like an explorer window in that sense it's very flexible um, you can do a lot of stuff with it but I, I've been using RepWin for Boy, I don't know, a really long time. And it's it's a really, really great tool. If you're, uh, what's interesting is like they don't have a lot of menus. So if you hit F1, like if I'm here and I hit F1, it'll come up with uh, help for what I am. So it's context sensitive in that sense of if I'm over this, hopefully that would have, oh, didn't, maybe it's just, let's see if I'm in here. The replace, oops, we're still on that. But I know like on this one, exclude. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's one thing for everything. Sorry. Um, I thought it was context sensitive of where I was. Oh, there are tool tips, which is a very nice functionality to be able to have because uh, some of the stuff is a little complicated and you may or may not know, you know, remember that pipe in between things and how to do multiple and hopefully you understand the star and 
asterisk, you know, symbols. Wild cards are, are very, very flexible. But being able to do like a regex search um, or the text search, you know, having it, it's such a simple interface. They really nailed it in that sense. It's very easy to use. I think most people uh, can easily get the stuff. You go to settings here. There's not a lot of settings to update. I don't, I don't honestly have never really looked in here. It's a really great, easy, free tool. So uh, the the URL I have at the beginning, but um, just go to just to simplify it. Right, it'll go to the. It's a redirect I have. It'll go to the automator. Oh, let's see here. So it's the automator comp slash grepwin, and that'll take you to the site that has it. Um, you, they have a portable version or a regular install version. I usually use the portable. This happens to be the install. I, I realized my version was really old because it doesn't auto update, which is honestly, I, I prefer that. I would rather me go check instead of it automatically doing it all. It's just one more thing, right? That would always be running and stuff. So uh, they're very good about not having too much stuff and making it simple. So if, uh, if you often can't find something and it's inside your files, Grepwin is a really great solution. I highly recommend it. Cheers. And please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that.